Greg, the main message tonight is accountability and addressing the culture within the department. This as several controversial incidents have come to light within recent months. Dozens calling for change in the Seattle Police Department. Because enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Protesters march from the heart of the Chinatown International District to the Seattle Police Officers Guild, the union for SPD. $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. After body camera video recently surfaced of its vice president, Daniel Otterer, making insensitive comments about John V. Candula, who was hit and killed by another SPD officer in January. In a letter, Otterer says he wasn't making fun of her death, but mocking the callousness of the legal system. What does that say to every single victim of police violence out here? That every single one of our lives and the community's lives has limited value. Where are your funeral fees? Unfortunately, it's something Castile Hightower knows firsthand. Her brother Herbert Hightower was killed by Seattle police in 2004. The mockery of our lives is another level of just lacking of humanity, um, the accountability systems, continuing to give these officers a slap on the wrist. Protesters want to see Otterer off the force or placed on leave. Saturday's protest comes 24 hours after Chief Diaz put an officer on administrative leave when audio surfaced of him making racist comments while off duty a year ago, and a complaint was filed with OPA. Chief Diaz said racist comments and behavior will not be tolerated and issued an apology on behalf of the entire department. OPA, I don't believe, is addressing the culture that's inherently there within this police department. The Community Police Commission sent a letter to Chief Diaz earlier this week calling for Officer Otterer to be placed on leave. It also wants Chief Diaz to create a work group to look into the culture within the department. All of this happening as the police union contract is still under negotiation. For now, live in Seattle, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.